always trying to get in the zone. Do you and play with Rumble on? I do play with Rumble. I do too. Like a lot of people, like the problem is I hear that Rumble can actually screw your controller up. I hear it can break it. Like, really? Yeah, that's what I hear. You know, I did play without Rumble for a whole tournament and I did enjoy it, but I'm just so used to Rumble. Um, I like feeling it. It's immersive, yeah. you know? It's. I feel like I get an advantage as well because like I know when something connected, you know? Yeah, or, it, you know, I'm just a crazy person. Well, first game on the PS2, nice gentlemen, the IE players setting up, and up B is the first hitbox. It's real thing. Uh, it doesn't have that janky hitbox that it used to have when it would like kill you like off of like one hit. You remember those days? Oh yeah, I think it was dash attack to up B. Oh my that god, was how dude. To set it up. Yeah, and you'd be on like Dreamland or something. Ah, good old days. But this game's so much better than before, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. All right, good shield damage from these missiles as well. And that's another thing, like shield damage, like I, I really love how shields are a lot weaker in this game uh, because like it, it emphasizes pressure in aggressive play for being defensive. Yeah. It's good yeah, stuff. You see Shuffle just being defensive, throwing his projectiles out, and they're beating every single one of Rinker's projectiles. It just sends them right back. That's kind of what I was alluding to, those missiles, I'm telling you, man, against that cross, that cross is everything to these guys. It doesn't kill, so it doesn't look outwardly impressive, but it's everything to these characters. And I honestly believe Shuffle just needs to play the mid-range game, stay away from uh, Nitro, mm. and that way he won't get sent off stage. Yeah. This is where he's honestly picked up most of his percent from being off the ledge. Yep, big time. And, th and that's kind of where Samus needs to be for Richter because, like, it's looking to me like the items in the in the the zoning is a bit more in Samus's favor. Yeah, uh, I think they come out a little bit quicker and they stay out a lot longer. Exactly, they, they the accessibility. In, yeah, they move a lot slower as well, so you can have a couple missiles in your face. Boy, well, that F smash can hit you right in the face. Shot. Shuckle yeah. down a stock right now. Yeah, but not, not too bad. Wow, he went from 95 to 130, and he wasn't even fully charged. Yeah. Wait, what, what is that? I think, that's, uh, I think uh, that move was buffed in this game. So. Uh, yeah, they, they, they nerfed the shield damage to it. Thank God, man, because yeah. that was just obnoxious. Yeah, I, I mean, just obnoxious. I know Nitro would feel it a lot worse if it was not nerfed. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, like, that's reasonable. <laughs> that forward air is not reasonable. I hate that <laughs> move without passion, but yeah, yeah man. Okay, throwing out the bombs. I like that. It's like Samus has a deceivingly good recovery. Like, it really looks like it's very easily exploitable, but it's kind of difficult. It's yeah, difficult. He, Those bombs get mobility. And she turns into a small little, like, Cocoa Puff or something. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, very hard to hit. Mm -hmm. Really got, especially with a whip, it's going to be very hard to hit a little. True. A little very, ball. very true. And it's just like, when Samus is coming down with the bomb, I've learned that you want to hit her from the side. Never, never come up to her. Just try to hit her from the side. Yeah, because uh, if you hit her from above or below, she moves side to side. It's very hard to pinpoint where she's at. Yep. But she does oh. not bounce up too much, so. Man, Nitro went for that super read. Yeah, right now Shuttle's still in, uh, still in, the, in the lead. Catches the the end lag on that holy water cross. Yeah, that was unfortunate. And, and and that and that charge shot is another thing. It's like it gives you something to respect. So even if like you're not shooting it right there, the threat of it being there is enough to make a character like Richter kind of crumble when it comes to this competition of spacing and zoning. Yeah, and I don't even think it's about the character. It's just putting that fear into the player themselves. Like exactly. Just seeing that there's a possibility that this charge shot is gonna come and hit you in the face. Yeah. It's so scary. It's like I have to respect this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like ah. Shuffle jumping right into that axe, and again off stage. <gasps> Dead. Yeah, you, can, you really cannot regular get up. You just have to hang on to ledge and just wait out that holy water. Sometimes you have to take that fire. You know what I mean? But it, which sucks because then you lose your uh, invulnerability. Oh my God. Okay, okay, Zare. Yeah, the best thing to do against uh, Richter is on ledge. Just let them throw the holy water, hang on ledge. If it hits you, it's okay. You're gonna get the ledge uh, invulnerability again if you rig grab. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's very so, true. And once you see that F smash come out to tip and hit you while you're hanging on, that's right, regular get up, or you can roll and dash attack uh, the Ricker. You can actually punish him. Exactly. No, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. There's uh, no flawless plan. No flawless plan. Right now, Nitro with the big lead. It was a big turnaround from uh, what was happening earlier in the game. And you, you know, I really like how Shuckle like adjusts. Uh, it, it, maybe it just shows like his uh, yeah. No, no yeah. adjustment there. He didn't adjust to that. Yeah, he got he got hit by that three yeah. different times. But like he's not using the Zare as much uh, as he did with his previous opponent because he knows that the range is 
about equal, and yeah. it probably just is, it's not worth going yeah, for. He's just better to throw out all the projectiles that he has. He was playing the game very smart earlier. Unfortunately, it seems like what's happening with most players against him, that they don't know a lot of the Samus matchup. It seems like he doesn't know a lot of the Richter matchup. Just falling prey to a lot of those holy waters at the ledge. I think that secured yeah. all three of his stocks. So. All three. It took all three of his stocks yeah. in like the same way on different sides of the stage. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully he understands what to do now and does not fall for them anymore because those are very de detrimental. Can kill as early as like 60% if you tip it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Samus is pretty heavy, but I mean, regardless, yeah, like I could see that killing at like 90 at the very, very, you know, Maximum or yeah. minimum, yeah. Probably earlier, depending on Rage. And people really understate Rage in this game. It's like, oh, we got nerfed. It's still, like, a comeback mechanic, and it still has huge implications. Yeah, so Shuffle actually decided to go to Battlefield. Yeah, I, I don't hate it. Uh, it's, like, Samus isn't known for her loops and, you know, like, up air, up air, up air, but she can do it. She can definitely do it. She can get the, the up B on the top platform and just kill you. I actually don't feel like this is too much of a counterpick on Richter's. Yeah, it's not like dr drastic or dramatic. Yeah, the thing is when you land and if you air dodge, try to air dodge and land on the platform, the Richter's can just trap you with the aerials. The aerials are so fast and have so little end lag mm -hmm. and can reach so far that no matter where you go, if you land with an air dodge on a platform, you're probably still getting a hit. You know what stages Richter's don't like? Yoshi's freaking island. Because of the dips. Yeah, the dips don't let him set up on the ledge yeah. as well. I would have picked Yoshi's Island. But it kind of makes it hard for Samus to again, man. Four times. Yeah. That makes it four. We're going to get six. Like I said, just hang on to the ledge and just don't do anything. Wait it out. He's play he played the patient game before. He can play it on the ledge as well. Yeah, he's playing Samus. That's just a thing that he's probably accustomed to in general. It's yeah. a little surprising that he keeps getting hit by that. Yeah, I think he just he's nervous about being on the ledge against his character. Oh, that was a good spot dodge. Yeah, here we go. Let's see it. Okay. It's okay, that's good. That's exactly what we want. Yep. And there he goes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. He's back on stage. Changing it up. And again, he's on the ledge. You know, uh, like, despite everything, uh, he hasn't really been using the platforms that much to, to get back on. Yeah. So he hasn't really been getting hurt by Nitro uh, because of the aerial. Yeah, that's, man. The thing is, uh, if he was trying to get onto the platforms as a counter pick, uh, when, he gets, when he gets off the ledge, it's not a good thing because he's, Nitro still has Axe to throw. And that goes mm -hmm. upward. He catches jumps. Yeah. Okay, so it, it wasn't six in a row. He died to something completely different, but still, man. Oh, yeah. And I don't think that should have killed that early. I think he died that wrong. It's very possible. Yeah. Oh, okay, he went for a back air there, and he didn't get it out in time. Yeah, startup frames a little too high. Yeah, Shuckle looks a little lost in this matchup right now. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's just really how he gets off the ledge, and that's... That's where Nitro's getting a lot of the fruit. He's, he's allowing Nitro to get a lot more stage presence than is probably warranted. Very nicely done. Not quite killing, though. Yeah, still not going to kill. Oh, Upbeat yeah. early and the drift. Yeah, sometimes you got to recover high. It's just a thing you got to do. And it worked perfectly, man. That might not kill. Wow, man. perfect DI for Nitro. Yeah, they, they could probably be. Ooh, that was sexy. Yeah. Okay, that was kind of cool. Yeah, he, uh, Pivot uh, canceled that down spin. Really sweet. The yeah, Smash rarely killing, but at that percent, Nitro definitely going to lose his first stock. Yeah, man. But again, only lost his first stock, and he still has a full stock lead. Shuggle not looking too great. Yeah, right. see there, that's when you time the regular getup, and uh, you got to get in there, man. Yeah, it doesn't always work, but it's very reliable, and there you go. Yeah. Called the jump, caught it. Yep. Not tipper, but that reach still having lots of KO potential. Yeah. Going to take... Chuckles last stock, and uh, it's a clean 2-0 for Nitro right now. If my guess is correct, he probably would have gone for an, uh, a down B had he survived, and that probably would have sucked too. Yep. Stock battle. Richter. All right, I'm curious about uh, Shuckles' um, other characters. I mean, if he's just a Samus main, then hell yeah. Yeah. I thought he was going to go Ice Climbers, <laughs> like, yo, wait a minute. No. The king of the low tier or mid tier characters. Mid -tier. Okay, it's hidden, possible. Hidden boss characters. He could, you know, I, I just, I, I definitely don't think Samus is low tier. I, I think her, I think her equipment, yeah. I think her, her moves are too relevant. Yeah, she's definitely slept on. Yeah. Sure. Up B, I'm, I am a little disappointed by Up B's killing power. Like, I know that there are particular areas where it's very, very good, but not killing Richter at like 175. Uh, I know he was at like the bottom of the stage, but yeah. hey, you know, there you go. Before, before there was a jank that could kill him super, super early. Like zero. Yeah, I and, remember. And now, just 
Doesn't kill as early, man. Yeah, man. Oh, trying to land with the Zare there. A little too high up. Yeah, Shuffle aggressive landing with the Uppy going extra high. He's gonna hit Nitro, but only 17% on Nitro so far. And you know, that first game that they had, uh, it was looking really convincing for uh, for Shuckle. You know, like he was out zoning this guy, and I think he just needs to go back to that game playing because that was working really well. Yeah, right now, it seems like he's playing more aggressive than he should be. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if Nitro is adapting to uh, that campy playstyle, because Nitro was really just moving about like he owned the place in that last uh, that last game. Nice air dodge. Okay. Not taking any of that nonsense. Yeah, and he's still getting trapped on the options off ledge. This is really where Nitro's getting all his percent. I like how he saved his air dodge, though. Um, Shuckle. That was yeah. really cool. And you see Nitro calling out the air dodge from Shuckle. See, no matter what you do, Nitro, you want the off air, Shuckle air dodge, and the frame traps that back are going to hit, and it can get stop. Yeah, like you said, man, he's getting a lot of damage received off of the stage, and he's constantly being thrown off the stage down tilt. is definitely one of those moves that does that to you. Yeah, Nitro's catching literally every option Shuffle does when he's in disadvantage. <laughs> We're seeing a lot more downs, man, so hey, if it works, it works. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that up tilt. You know that bomb actually kind of stopped that from happening. Yeah, I think he did the up tilt uh, a little too early. Yeah. Yeah. But that dash attack, though, taking it out. I didn't even realize he was at, like, 170 when that landed. My god. Okay. That was a that was a really nice down air. It didn't really work out entirely, but that, that was really well spaced, though. Yeah, Shuckle not too far off from the lead right now. No, he's not. He got a point-blank missile, though. Okay. And he's adjusting. He is adjusting. He, he's not as afraid of the axe or any of that. He's, okay, good movement. Good oh, Zare as well. Okay. I think that's the first time we see a Zare off the ledge. Yeah, he's been very sparing with that Zare. He might be able to get away with it a bit more. All right, there's the edge guard. I yeah. thought he was going to recover high. I, I figured that was like the time to do it, but uh, no uh, no dice. Yeah, good call out from Nitro. Knowing that Shuckle just used his last jump, all he had was an air dodge, and if he, it's a 50-50 right there. Yeah, I figured he would he would have recovered high. It's very risky, but like... Sometimes you just gotta do it, man. Sometimes you just gotta do Nitro it. Nitro looked for the kill right there. He's trying to get that fair off stage. Shuckle barely gonna get over it. Yeah, Shuckle made some mistakes on his recovery there. He was about to uh, zare uh, Nitro, but he was a little too high. Nice fair, though, getting himself back into the neutral here. Yeah, and like that, Shuckle taking over 100% within, I think, 15 seconds of losing his second stock. Yeah, and like I said, man, uh, Shuckle is, like, when he does that down B, he puts himself at a lot of risk. Uh, because of the range that Nitro has. To the left trap. Uh, I, I figured he was going to shoot it right there. Yeah, good, I didn't think he'd miss. Good jump from uh, Nitro. Not letting that charge shot hit. Here we go with the ledge trap. Okay. Oh, the roll. Okay, wow, that worked out. I yeah. thought that roll was going to get him in trouble. Yeah. Good thing for Samus. I mean, one of the worst rolls, apparently, but it has, it's very long. So yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, man. All right, somebody's got some homework to do. Yeah. Someone's got some homework. <laughs> yeah. Shuckle looked like he had everyone in the bag except for Nitro. Hey, Shuckle's still a badass. I mean, the fact that the fact that he is playing with Samus and a lot of people will probably say this character sucks. You know what I mean? I know what it's like being Corn Main. Um, I like that you know people are still sticking with it and pushing the meta to the best of their abilities because you never know. I remember people said Samus sucked back in four, 